A very good morning guys. So today we are going to cover a very interesting topic about threat hunting using web proxy logs in our environment. So we will be using test data and we will be using some of the techniques uh, to make some sense out of those and we'll be using whatever the data that is already existing and we'll be making use of most commonly used or defined fields in our in uh, web proxy index so for example we'll be using http method we'll be using http user agent for example so the idea of this particular video is to talk about whatever the data that is already existing in our web proxy index uh, can we extract some kind of the insight of out of that you know uh, you know uh, so so as to indicate you know does those activities uh, are those activities look intended or not you know uh, does that signify something of malicious behavior you know uh, does that look unintended so we we will be talking about those uh, we'll be talking about some of the ideas and however we'll not be making any kind of the deduction you know whether uh, uh, we'll be questioning those okay so just give me a yeah so the environment is ready and so uh, we are ready to delve on to the techniques which we are talking about so for the very first technique which we'll be talking about is so for example if we are requesting if we are making any kind of the http get request or http post request you know and we will be getting the http status uh, of 200 uh, that does resemble you know the uh, successful connection right so for uh, we will be looking at some of the http status codes uh, which which seems uh, relatively less and uh, if we are uh, seeing the significant amount of count corresponding to those http codes uh, can we uh, analyze or can we derive some kind of insight from those so uh, without any delay uh, let's uh, talk about those particular scenarios once we have the result uh, just some second all time and i will be executing the job Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so for example here we can see the, the count the significant count corresponding to the HTTP code 200 so which we are not very worried about but however we would like to question the HTTP code for example 412. So uh, we are getting the access denied for the target and uh, we may want to question that particular thing you know why we are getting uh, so much of the count of the access denied uh, so for example 468 you know so if any kind of uh, you know uh, 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 for, for ip addresses which is of a bad reputation is getting filtered out you know so does uh, so all those activities you know are we already familiar with those kind of the activities so for again this is just an idea and uh, just an idea so what uh, it, it basically depends on the individual how to derive the insight from you know uh, if, if this is the data which we are going to uh, use uh, use okay so again we, we are questioning you know uh, uh, this particular behavior looks intended or unintended so we'll be moving on to the uh, the next uh, you know the next technique so in the subsequent technique which we are trying to uh, have a look at you know uh, we are trying to list all the urls against those which we are getting uh, the uh, you know the http error codes right so for example i have mentioned the status as four star so we are looking at the client error uh, in this particular request so let's try to retrieve data against this query so we are seeing uh, we are trying to list again all the urls against those which we are getting some kind of the error we may want to have a look at all the uh, you know http urls uh, against those which we are getting a significant amount of the count and we can always make a use of the regex to make a little more sense out of this particular data to club under you know one particular category of the http url so so again we are again trying to derive some kind of the insight from the data which is already existing in the our web proxy index so this is also uh, you know one of the technique which we, we may want to have a uh, may want to use okay so let's move on to the uh, subsequent technique we'll be talking about so just give me a second So uh, in this particular technique which we are going to talk about, uh, so we are trying to uh, find the sum of the bytes. Uh, so we are taking into consideration uh, bytes in and bytes out 
and we are trying to uh, you know uh, calculate the sum of those bytes for the combination of a source IP and the destination IP so for example this is the sum of the bytes with respect to this particular pair source IP and destination IP so if this particular sum of the bytes look extensively or significantly large as compared to our other data set so again we are trying to derive any we are questioning the behavior we are trying to derive some kind of the insight uh, so as to make a deduction you know uh, does this look intended or unintended you know uh, does uh, does this indicate any kind of the malicious behavior or not so again just to make a little more uh, sense out of this particular query we may want to uh, compare this particular data set with the average sum of the bytes so uh, we will be using uh, we will be making the use of the event stats for uh, for for uh, for that particular thing so just give me a second yeah so this is the query which we are going to use and we'll be calculating the uh, now we are making a comparison with the average sum of the bytes against uh, so in just uh, in an order to filter out the results uh, which we are not interested in so we might want to have a look at the top 10 you know combinations of the source ip and the destination ip so for example you can see the average sum of the bytes is this one and we are looking at the top 10 uh, combination of the destination and the source ip and uh, and the sum of the bytes is extensively large as compared to the average and we may want to take a note of the some of the destination ips which we might want to deep dive analysis of so again uh, we are just trying to you know derive some kind of the insight from some of the uh, spl queries for whatever the data that is already residing in our uh, web proxy index okay so hopefully it is making some sense uh, so again uh, in the subsequent query uh, we uh, for example we can make a note of some of the destination ip which are you know uh, which are of bad reputation which are of uh, malicious reputation and we can you know again we can try to uh, you know uh, use this particular time chart as a command whether we are seeing the consistent you know uh, connection to those particular destination ip or somebody uh, uh, a consistent connection with some of the those uh, you know malicious ip or does that uh, you know uh, is this indicative of you know some kind of the c2 activity or somebody has already successfully established a c2 connection or c2 channel and you know and uh, so something of that sort right so again just an insight uh, we 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 uh, again we are not making a deduction uh, you know whether it is of bad nature or the good nature we are questioning you know again it uh, we are trying to derive some kind of the insight from the data which is already residing in our index so uh, so let's move on to the uh, subsequent uh, you know technique so in this particular query we will be making the use of http method so uh, if you are talking about uh, the normal environment we know that uh, the number of the get request or http get request uh, will be significantly large as compared to http post request uh, however if we are coming across scenario which is you know of the opposite nature where the number of the post request http post request is extensively large as compared to http get request so we are again trying to question the behavior does that indicate a data exfiltration does that indicate beaconing or not so for example in our data you can see that the count of the get request is only 10 and the count of the post request is 2735 so again if we are looking at the combination of the source and destination ip the ips are of private in nature these are the private ip addresses uh, so it so the, uh, this might be indicative of the you know uh, some kind of the legitimate activities but for example if you are seeing some kind of extremely uh, 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 larger number of the count of the http post request to the external ips uh, it may indicate uh, you know uh, something suspicious is happening or data is being exfiltrated out of your organization so again just an insight and we are trying to derive some kind of the insight from the data which is already there in our web proxy index okay so i will be moving uh, so we can also in the subsequent query we will be calculating the ratio of the number of uh, http ports request versus http get request and so let's try to do that so i will be taking a second
Okay. So again, uh, so the ratio, uh, we, we are trying to calculate the ratio. Uh, so for example, if the ratio is extensively large, you know, so, so, in, so for example, in the top results, we are seeing the extremely large result. So we may want to do the deep dive analysis, you know, why the number of the posts. So again, the post request is minimal, I guess. Uh, so for example, if I scroll down, we can see that, you know, the number of the post request uh, and the guest request are, you know, almost equal. And but however, the uh, this is again the IP address range. So it uh, it might be legitimate as well. But for the for the destination IP, if you see the number of the post requests is extensively large or this particular ratio is extensively large. Uh, extensively large you may want to question because this destination IP is again the external IP address and we would like to derive some kind of the insight and we would like to do the deep dive analysis if that looks you know little malicious or that looks unexpected to us so again we are trying to derive we are trying to make a little bit of the sense from our data so we'll be moving on to the subsequent uh, technique so for example, uh, so just give me a second. So, okay. So in this particular technique, we are trying to have a count for one of the pair of source IP, destination IP and the URI path. And if the count for this particular pair looks extremely large, again, we, uh, we, uh, we would like to question the behavior, you know, uh, uh, does that uh, does that look legitimate or does that look suspicious to us? So again, it's one of the very simple SPL we are using and we are trying to make some kind of the sense from that particular data in order to do a threat hunting. Uh, so I will be moving on to the subsequent uh, technique. And uh, just give me a second. So so, so the next uh, technique we will be talking about uh, the uncommon meme type so so i will be uh, i will be running that particular query so here we are trying to have a look at the http content type so for example if uh, so http content type if it looks you know uh, so for example if we are able to see those particular content type you know quite regular or quite we are familiar with that particular http content type uh, so we will not be questioning those but however if we are seeing the uh, you know quite strange type of http content we again uh, want to uh, deep dive you know in order to do the further analysis you know whether that particular http content type is malicious or not because you know some of the rare http content type uh, might indicate you know the existence of the malicious file as well so for example in this particular scenario we are looking at the most common content type and uh, you know again so uh, it makes sense if we are trying to you know, uh, run the query uh, in a manner, you know, if you are able to see the extremely uh, rare count of uh, those, you know, uh, HTTP content, which is very, very rare. And then we may, may want to question ourselves, you know, whether this particular HTTP content type looks malicious or not. So again, we are trying to derive some kind of the insight from this particular technique. We are not making any deductions. So uh, we'll be moving on to the subsequent technique. And we'll be making the use of HTTP user agent field in our web proxy data. So for example, if I scroll down, I can see, uh, you know, the, some of the commonly used HTTP user agents. So for example, Mozilla. And so for example, if, uh, if we are seeing the very rare count uh, with respect to some of the user agents, which are not very known, we may want to question the behavior of those HTTP user agents because uh, the existence of those may indicate, you know, uh, the presence of any kind of the malicious binaries as well. So again, we are trying to derive some kind of the insight from the existing data with the help of HTTP user agent field. And uh, so uh, th 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 these are all the techniques which we uh, wanted to take an opportunity to talk about and uh, let me know uh, whether this particular video is useful, uh, useful or not. And uh, we'll be talking about some of the most interesting topics, uh, you know, uh, in the subsequent videos. So thank you for spending time with us.